Hey everyone, we're here tonight with a 2014 Mazda CX-5 and we are doing a drain and fill on the automatic transmission. To start, we are going to be going underneath and removing the lower splash shield. Okay, so we've got some 10 mil bolts along the front. There would have been one. There would have been one there. There's one here. And then we've got one, two, three, four along the front and two more there. And then along the sides, we've got some plastic retaining clips. And some along the back as well. There's one missing there, not a big deal. So let's start taking these off and see what we get. Okay, with the splash shield off, we're gonna work from the top. We'll start by taking the air duct off, removing these two 10 mils. Next, we're gonna disconnect this 10 mil holding the air filter housing. We'll take off the top of the air box. You can push this toward the throttle body. Just flip that up like that. So we'll remove the air filter. We're going to pull this out of the one, two, three grommets. Just wiggle it until it comes up. The, uh, the computer here. Okay. Move the air box out. You can see your dipstick here and the 10 mil bolt holding it in. This one here is loose because we checked it a couple weeks ago. If it's tight, you can use, you can put pliers on either side of it and wiggle it back and forth until it loosens up. Okay. We're gonna leave that there, but we're just gonna leave it on, on loose so we can get some venting when we take out the lower triangle. Okay, so you're going to get an 8 mil hex socket, you're going to get a catch pan right under the transmission. And get this bolt loose. falls in there you can always fish it out with a magnet later all right 
right, we're draining. This is supposed to be lifetime fluid. This stuff is brown on its way to black. I would not trust this for the life of the vehicle. And as mentioned, you can always use a magnet to find your drain bolt if you want to clean it up and get it ready for the reinstall. There it is there. And we can see here that the washer is on it as well. Okay, so we let this drip for about an hour or so. We're gonna take our, our bolt here. We got a new bolt. You don't necessarily need a new bolt, but we got a new bolt and washer. Definitely a good idea to replace the washer. Let's put this back up. And then we'll get this tight. Okay, that should be good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fluid and we're gonna measure that and we're gonna put exactly the same amount that came out back in. Okay, so we're back on the top here. We've measured our fluid and we've got just about four liters exactly. <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll take our dipstick out now, put that aside. And we're gonna take our transmission filler we're gonna set that in the hole there. Get that in the spot where it's not gonna move on us. And we are now gonna add four liters of fluid to this very slowly because you don't want it to back up and spill. We're gonna put a catch pan under there in case any does. Okay, we've got four liters in. Bring this out. We get the dipstick back in. And we're gonna give it a moment to uh, to settle there. We're gonna check the fluid level. Seems like it might be a touch high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the car, go through the gears, and see if uh, and see if that level comes down a bit. Okay, so what we did here is we just put the top cover back on without the whole airbox, ran it through the gears, and we're gonna open this up and take another look. Okay, so we're checking again after we've run through the gears. And there's our level. We are right within range. And this fluid is much cleaner than the black stuff that, uh, that came out of it. So with that, put the stick back in, take our 10 mil bolt. easier to spin it by hand until it reaches the bottom and then just give it a slight crank with the with the ratchet
Not too tight or you'll crack the plastic dipstick. Gonna get our air box in. Push it down to lock in the three grommets. Two, three. Put in two 10 mil bolts here for the duct. Just put those loosely for now. Back your air filter. In the air box. You're gonna put these three tongues in the tabs first. When they're in, we should be able to flip these two latches up. Actually, let's let's get this let's get this cuff back on. There's one and two. That's on. Tighten this one up. And then we'll tighten these down the rest of the way. Okay, our work up top is done. The last thing to do is get this splash shield back on. Okay, so we're ready to put this on. This is going towards the front of the car here. We're gonna put your 10 mil bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're gonna have your six plastic retaining clips. One, two, three, four, five, six okay so the job is done and the car is gone so i have nothing to focus the camera on so i'm just going to film the spot where the car was and you can pretend it's there um, what i'd like to add to this is i would do something a little bit differently next time and that is after putting the lower splash shield on while it's up on the ramps after that i bring it down and then i would put the top air filter cover back on the uh, the cuff that goes to the throttle body. I'd start the car, bring it off the ramps onto level ground, and then check the fluid one more time to make sure it's exactly where it should be while the car is on level ground. Then put the rest of the air box 
assembly back together. That's all I'd like to add to that. And that is how you do a drain and fill on your automatic transmission on a 2014 Mazda CX-5 or any Mazda Skyactiv with a six-speed automatic transmission. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.